Happy flower day! Um, hope you're all been having a good week and um, yeah, the weather's just started to turn down here in Melbourne. Bit of rain but nothing like, oh my gosh, Brisbane and Queensland. Um, yeah, if you're up there and receiving our beautiful flowers, I hope, um, yeah, that you're all okay. Let's take a look at this week's uh, recipe. We've got a foliage element this week is the viburnum which is a beautiful lush green um, foliage that'll add beautiful structure to the other flowers. We've got quite a few beautiful recipe, oh, a beautiful recipe this week. We've got the lysianthus, which is a beautiful papery kind of leaf on each of the petals. And this is in a really soft, beautiful baby pink. We've got the status, which is a great, hardy, long-lasting, uh, beautiful, vivid purple flower in this week's recipe. We've got the button chrysanthemums, which are quite unique. Each of the stems have got gorgeous little miniature pom-poms on the top, bit of fun. And what I like to call a filler flower is the Alstroemeria, which is such a soft purple colour. It'll look great once put together with all the other flowers. So let's get into it and do some arranging together. The vase this week that we're using is just a standard 20 centimetre uh, in depth, about 25 centimetres in height, and the opening is around about 10 to 15 centimetres. That would be a great choice for um, to support the flowers that are gonna go into your vase this week. Always you need to give the stems a nice trim to just open that surface area so that they can drink. They've been on a, a, a pretty big trip and uh, in they go. We're going to next work with the button chrysanthemums. Now the button chrysanthemums have got multiple little, um, I suppose, junction um, pieces off the main stem. And what you can do is just reduce them in height, just a little bit, cut on the angle, and then pop them in amongst, but make sure you give them a little bit of room because they will open over the week and they are quite a thick, heavy flower. So you want to make sure that the other elements are going to have room so everyone's sort of, they're not fighting each other. We're going to next start working with the Alstroemeria. Some basic cleaning tips with the Alstroemeria. Obviously give the stems a quick trim. And any leaves that will be in the water level below just need to be plucked off and then position the stems through the neck of the vase. If you're struggling sometimes to get the stem in amongst the other flowers, just give it a little twist and it should slide in nice and easily. Next, we're going to work with the Lysianthus. Now the Lysianthus also just needs some basic conditioning. A quick trim on the M ends. If you have a stem like this one that has a little bud going to the side, you can actually remove it, pull that foliage off, and you can insert that as an extra stem of flower. This one I like the look and shape of. It's facing forward, so I would like to put it just in that little hole there to fill up that nice little void. Once you've got the foliage elements within your design, you want to start putting the pieces together so that you've got nice symmetry and that the other flowers don't compete against each other, that they've all got their own space to do their thing and uh, come together and sing the little story. And the final element this week that we're going to work with is the status. So the status I like to work by grouping the status Give it all a quick trim, pull any of the foliage off down the bottom. And we're going to insert the status, just clustered on that far side. When you start clustering smaller flowers together, you'll find that you'll get much better impact. Um, there you go, on the side there. And the color too, once you start clustering a similar flower all together, yeah, as I said before, you get great impact, but you also just add a slight different design element to your arrangement. This arrangement would be great placed 
on the sideboard because we have got a flat back this week. Um, if you wanted more of a 360 like dining room um, arrangement, you would just have to turn your vase as you're arranging and make sure that you have um, even elements throughout the arrangement. Well, there you have it. That's this week's box. Have a great time and yeah, we'll see you next week.